Welcome back to the 2 Minute One. Today I'm taking a look at the Miami Dolphins and going over the best and worst case scenario for them in the upcoming 2021 season. But before getting that topic, question for those of you viewing, where do you think the Miami Dolphins will end up? Do you think it'll be with a Super Bowl trophy, Super Bowl loss, playoff appearance, playoff, miss the playoffs, whatever it is, comment down below and you'll kind of hear my answer throughout. Just to make clear though, this is not my serious prediction of where I think the Dolphins will end up. This is just where I think they would end up if absolutely everything were to go right for them, everything falls in their lap, or if everything were to go wrong, everything is just against them again. Not my serious prediction, just looking at the best and the worst, the positive and negative, where could Miami end up? Starting with the positive, Miami, initially I think the biggest move out of today they need to keep the positive going is keeping Xavier Howard, figuring out he's a top three cornerback in the league. Keep him on your squad, and with that, staying or becoming a top five defense in the league, wherever you have them at. Xavier Howard, Byron Jones, Jason McCourty, Javon Holland, Jalen Phillips, Christian Wilkins, Emmanuel Agua, Kyle Van Noy, Jerome Baker. You need to be in that top five realm of defenses to get to the best case scenario. On offense, you need two to step up, you know, fight to be in that range for top 15. I'm not going to say top five quarterback, that's just real unlisted too unrealistic best case scenario yes but i'm not getting super unrealistic here you know top 15 though he can fight for that um backfield needs to step on miles gaskins offense line hopefully needs to continue to progress i like them drafting liam meikenberg receiving core needs to stay fully healthy Jalen waddle Devonte parker will fuller mike kosicki on paper there's some talent there but those three receivers all have their histories of being banged up time to time brian flores needs to continue to pro progress enter that class of top 10 coaches in the league Again, that is everything going right. And I think if everything goes right, they can end up a 13-4 and four team, winning the division, winning the AFC, possibly getting to a Super Bowl, you know? And I guess you could say, <clears throat> excuse me, everyone's best case scenario would be them winning the Super Bowl. But if we're being realistic, no matter how good things go for the Jets or the Jaguars, or the Texans or the Lions or the Eagles, they're not winning the Super Bowl. It'll be the best case scenario is if they hopefully get eight wins. But <coughs> Miami, a Super Bowl team, a dark horse Super Bowl team, I guess I should say, because I don't believe in them to be a Chiefs, a Bills, as of today, but a dark horse Super Bowl team that has everything fall in their favor, all their guys step up, all the rookies are stepping up, all the sophomores are stepping up, they could enter the class. They just need some things to fall in their lap they can win the afc they can make a super bowl run people underrate how good of a team you could be when your defense is top five if the offense is just above average the defense can do the rest look at peyton manning and the broncos in 2016 for example that was an extreme case that was a top one defense you can look at the ravens with trent dilfer that's one of the best defenses ever but still if your defense is stellar and your offense is above average to stellar you can make it far but again that is everything going their way Two is stepping up in year two, proving the haters wrong. Blind Flores progressing. Xavier Howard staying. Rookie stepping up. Javon Holland, Jalen Waddle, Jalen Phillips, Liam Meikenberg. All those guys stepping up. Even th third round Hunter Long. Everyone that you expect. You know, I'm not going to ask a seventh round rookie to step up and, you know, carry the team. But you guys know what I mean. We need the prospects to live up to being high caliber prospects. Health. You guys know the drill. I've already went over. That's the best case scenario. 13 of four Super Bowl team, I think, is likely if everything went right. Again, I'm not predicting that to happen, but if everything, every single one of those were to happen, if I was guaranteed two as a top 15 QB, guaranteed they have a top five defense, guaranteed all their rookies step up, of course they're going to be in Super Bowl contention. Now, switching over to the worst case scenario. Again, not predicting this because I know someone in the comments is going to say, what do you mean that's going to happen? I'm not saying this will I'm just saying if it were to, if the Dolphins, you know, two has stayed the same where he just, he has his on and off day. There's just a little too inconsistent. If Miles Gaskins is the same, if Devontae Parker, Will Fuller, Jalen Waddle continue to catch the injury bug, if Xavier Howard does get traded, if the rookies don't step up, Jalen Phillips, Javon Hall, Lee Meikenberg, they're all busts. Hence, I'm saying everything going wrong. That is the worst case scenario. I'm, I don't know if any of that's likely to happen. But I'm just exploring the bottom areas of what would happen in Miami. I would say 7 and 10 is their worst. And to me, 7 and 10 being your floor is pretty positive. You know, the Texans got a floor of 0 and 17. I think you got a little bit of a better floor there. And that is with every absolute thing going wrong, in my opinion, 7 and 10 is where they'll be at. Again, that's Xavier Howard leaving. 
Tua not being Tua time. Jalen Waddle, Devontae Parker, Will Fuller, all trading off injuries. Brian Flores not progressing. He's still good, but he's just not stepping up. Miles Gaskins not stepping up. Rookies not stepping up. Defense falls out of the top five. That is where I see them. Seven and ten, plus or minus one win or loss. It's hard to predict these things to predict a team what would happen if everything they wanted to happen went that way or if everything they didn't want to happen went that way. It's really hard to say. And again, neither of those are my prediction. I'm not predicting them to go 13 and 4, 14 and 3, or 6 and 11, 7 and 10, 8 and 9. I'm predicting they're somewhere in the middle. But looking at, like I said, if the cards were to fall in their favor or if they were to get to dealt the wrong hand, that is where I see their best and worst case scenario being. Again, I see them end up in the middle. 10 and 7, 11 and 6, 12 and 5, fighting for a wild card spot and being a dark horse team, not a Super Bowl tier one team. Chiefs, Bucks, Rams, Packers, Bills, uh, Ravens, Browns, but in contention, that could sneak up on one of those teams and be a dark horse team is where my realistic ideal for the Dolphins is this year. But if everything goes right, like I said, the young guys stepping up, the star players staying, Xavier Howard. Devontae Parker staying healthy, Mike Kosicki being Mike Kosicki, Brian Flores being Brian Flores, they could get to that realm of being a tier one team in the NFL, winning the division, winning the AFC, it's possible, but they could also fall down the rabbit hole of losing Xavier Howard for a year, so your defense takes a step back for a year. Tua being what he was last year, so you're being what you were last year, but now you don't have a top five defense to carry you. Jalen Waddle being hurt, Will Fuller being hurt, Monte Parker being hurt. It's hard for me to say this will happen. I don't think it will happen. If I were to bet money, I don't think most of these will happen. I think most of the things will go right for Miami. But I'm just exploring both sides. That's the point of the video. 6 and 11, 7 and 10, 8 and 9. Like I said, plus 1, minus 1 from 7 to 10 is where I'd see them from their absolute, absolute floor. And to me, that's not a bad floor. 8 and 9, 7 and 10, fighting for 500 when there's teams and leagues that are just trying to avoid the 0-17 threshold, Eagles, Texans, Lions, like you heard earlier. You guys tell me, though, do you agree or disagree? Are you saying they're going to be the best, they're going to be the worst, or you're kind of like me in the middle? Both of those are great. Some of those are terrifying, but realistically, 10, 11, 12 wins is where they're going to be at, fighting for the playoffs, and then fighting for some wins in the playoffs. You guys tell me where you're at. I love your opinions, your takes, your comments, and I'm open-minded. I'm willing to sway my mind one way or the other if there's a player or a play or a coach or just a team. I'm not thinking of. I'd love to hear it from you guys to possibly change my mind. I'm sure there's going to be some people saying in there, what do you mean? Tua is going to be top five QB. I don't see that happening, but you go ahead and you know, we'll see. As always, of course, guys, like I said, referring back to the question of the day, let me know where you think they will end up this year. Super Bowl win, loss, AFC Championship, wild card round, missing playoffs, wherever it is. Let me know. You kind of already heard mine. As always, and of course, I truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you for watching, guys. Tune in the morning.